Hey guys, it's Mapo here once again. Uh, I want to make just a quick little video about uh, some of the new items that have come to Affliction League as well as the gems. Uh, just the highlights of some of the things that are out there, uh, given that I obviously can't get to everything immediately and showcase, um, you know, various items and gems in every build immediately. Want to give you a look at what's out there and uh, what I think is kind of powerful and what seems to be taking off um, on the community radar thus far. So um, start with, I'll just show you this PODB. If you use this, uh, it does kind of aggregate, aggregate the um, items from a particular league. If you're just on PODB, right? There's this thing, uh, you just click on the affliction thing and then there's the affliction uniques, the new stuff from affliction. Uh, you then click on affliction items and that's everything that's like new in affliction uh, item wise um, and then of course gems if you want to see all the different gems that are there uh, you can easily do that as well but to quickly go over um, the uh, some of the stuff that's coming from the unique side of things uh, these boots are pretty much trash the temptation ring here can be good I think if you got a good crit multi roll and you manage to land a good quality on that which would be like crit um, which you're gonna to have to use a tainted catalyst for so the ring is like 20c then the actual thing itself um catalyst is like 20c and then your chance of actually hitting one of those is like one in a hundred or some shit um it can be good but realistically pretty much no one's gonna be wearing these and don't bank on trying to get one um this thing's pretty whatever this thing is seemingly doing okay but it's got some niche uses it's not too expensive um replica badge of the brotherhood definitely has some application but it's gonna be difficult to make sure you're getting enough fortify coming in while it's being lost as well um but i think that's definitely an item to look for replica covenant i think is a bit under the radar at the moment so um, if you look at the replicas out there at the moment, there's Covenant, there's uh, Heat Shiver, both kind of flying a bit low for their power um, level. Level 29 added cold, huge extra damage. All you got to do is solve the extra little cost here. Can be done through Eldritch Battery. Um, but uh, yeah, that's definitely something that I will build around and have a pretty powerful build around it for sure. I think it's going to be a very strong item um, compared to regular Covenant. If you just have a look at that, right? It is pure uh, chaos, of course. So there's a bit more application for it. It's about twice as expensive. It's, I don't think it's quite caught on um, the power level of a replica just yet. Replica Heat Shiver as well. Um, hasn't quite caught on, I don't think, but I do feel like it's going to be very powerful in a lot of builds. Um, it is pretty specific, though. You do have to be dealing quite a lot of uh, lightning damage and then stacking shock. And there are a few builds that are going to do that, and there are a few builds that are going to get real powerful benefits off of this 50 percent extra um lightning as cold. Um, I'm definitely going to be building into one of these with a shock nova. Uh, Lightning Conduit, a Gavank Field, a Voltaxic maybe, stuff like that um, should be pretty big. So, yeah, Replica Heat Shiver, definitely one to look at as well. Um, Hinakar, I don't think is anything. Replica High Reads flying a bit low. I'm not sure it's um, really how most Wanders want to build is why, uh, because it's, you know, like a bunch of evasion on a chest instead of some other hybrid stuff but it is a lot of damage and i do think this thing's gonna be pretty worth using in some builds it's still got a lot of int so it works well if it's some int stack um should be a good trickster int stack chest i think uh not the best one out there but a good base because of uh, all the extra line damage you can get it's basically a level 21 or a basically level 20 added lightning uh gem so like an extra link it's pretty powerful it's nothing too crazy but it is pretty powerful and i do think um it should see some good use uh, we then get to one of the more interesting things, that which was taken. Uh, this thing is a very new spicy item that can high roll like fuck. Now we are talking basically another Watcher's Eye style situation. Uh, so during the league, you can get charms, which will give you uh, little ascendancy points from other ascendancies and stuff uh, and they can all come together onto this one jewel with four modifiers they can be prefixes suffixes doesn't really fucking matter you can have lots of them and there'll be a combo of four modifiers and a pretty easy way of knowing how things are you know doing on trade um it's to literally just click the price and then see what the most expensive ones are scroll down a few because some are just going to be often you know troll like prices and shit but you can eventually come to 
see what some of the most powerful things are on um, the price scale and then see what's actually popping off in that sense. So some of the most powerful modifiers are for sure and very rare ones. Skill fire, additional proj, um, strength, strength. So this one's, you know, it's pretty damn good. I don't know if it's two mirrors good, but it's pretty damn good. Um, so price is going to be really good. You're going to have um, increased effect of marks, the fizz's extra random element, the penetration, the onslaught. Basically, there's a lot on there that's going to be really, really good. There's like poison duration, there's a crit power charge um, this does give you a good idea of what can be done on the uh, charms that you'll find out there in the wild that you absolutely need to be checking your vendors for every time just in case uh, this thing is a boss drop though i'm pretty sure of the like end game boss so um, you're not just going to randomly come across it it will be from a boss um, but these things are definitely going to make some waves because uh, the high roll on this thing is very powerful and it just takes a jewel slot you know uh we then have um another stuff another boss drop i think it is burden of shadows um there's not many out there so it's pretty rare and i do think this one's going to be pretty niche use but has potential to be very powerful a lot of extra chaos um from your life so if you're stacking like 10k life you know it's 2k extra um chaos and it's got synergy with sacrifice uh but then you've got to fix a lot of things in the build but ultimately it seems like it could be pretty big especially for some chaos level ignite stuff uh the adorned i didn't actually go over this as well um pretty powerful item as well uh very high roll so 50 to 150 percent effect uh and yeah there's um not too many out there i think it is basically going to be a global drop because i think someone uh linked one to me like very early into the league at 50 it's basically worthless but if you're going to the higher end um of the rolls they can't be divined they are just drop corrupted like this or found corrupted i don't know um anyway you can't change it at the high end it can be very powerful it means that once you get like two crit multi um rolls on a jewel let's just say an 18 and 18 prefix suffix it's a blue jewel put a bunch of those in your tree you can more than double your crit multi from those investments and uh, i think that could be pretty powerful but it's pretty niche use and i don't think it's gonna you know make or break too many builds regardless so there is that thing it's pretty cool um and um that's about it the rest doesn't really matter i think so that's basically the uniques if you're looking at items in general um you know tinctures are pretty damn good they can roll certain things that become um really a bit more expensive so the expensive stuff you might be looking for um on tinctures let's just say the kind of build i'm looking for right now and uh playing poison berry tinctures so they do all poison if you then do poison and non-duration um poison afflicted on non-poison enemies this mod here if it's a pretty high roll it's very desirable and it can be worth a good bit on your poison berry tinctures other than that nothing else is gonna be too expensive um on most other tinctures, I'm not sure there's anything too crazy expensive, except for maybe some explode action. Once again, you can do simply um, look things up by going like, uh, which one? Full grout, that's like all things can shock, I believe. Do something like this, you know, who the fuck knows, right? What's expensive? What's doing good on the market? And then try and suss out what some of these good mods are. Maybe some penetration, uh, maybe some you know leech but then there's stuff like the explode i think the explode's definitely going to be somewhat valuable and then combined with other things like penetration but if we're just looking for strictly explode minimum of a good explode on a shock is going to be a divine something like that it's pretty good pretty powerful uh we then have um for the most part if you're just going to scroll through these items there's going to be a few tinctures and we don't really know the new heist bases um can be pretty damn expensive so if you're looking through a lot of these like a focused amulet that thing is going to be crazy expensive so far from what we've seen they're not too common so there are not many of these on the market sure there's probably not too many people heisting but in general it seems like they're pretty rare from heist um this and the other the heist ring as well both pretty expensive should be very powerful but um yeah if you're going to go do some heists i do think there's going to be profit to be made there through these new bases and through um other replica stuff as well 
Aside from that, um, so like I said, you're looking at charms, you're looking at uh, tinctures, you make sure you check those vendors all the time um, because some of those things like skills, additional proj, plenty of stuff can be worth a lot. But on top of that, the corpse vendor is not entirely useless. You might think, oh, I'm not getting anything there or who the fuck knows, not gonna check it. The corpses are actually pretty damn expensive and very powerful um, to summon for certain summoner builds that just use them as stat sticks. Essentially, what you're looking for is fuck all this and you are looking for the perfect monsters. Um, so if we get down to here, perfect monsters. There's some that give a good extra buff to your character or to your minions, and that's why they are desirable. So if we're looking at some of these, um, perfect forest tiger, I do believe. Um, 5% chance to grant frenzy to nearby allies on hit, but casts haste. So it gives all of your... Um, minions and you haste so basically whenever you're looking up your um, vendor out in the wild if you see some perfect mobs chances are it's worth checking out what they do um, or just you know if they are expensive but i can highlight the more expensive ones for you right now perfect forest tiger very expensive for divines um, perfect naval officer this one gives your um, entire team some extra fortification very expensive as well um, so some of these basically they have to be perfect but then if they do some extra shit cast determination chances are they're going to be a little bit more money so perfect hydra is a bit of money um, yeah i've checked out most of them at this point and there's a few that are worth some money most aren't worth much but some are pretty rare and can be very good um, and i think that's about it for items yeah, that's pretty much all I want to say for the items. Um, lots of stuff out there, lots of stuff I'll build into myself, but want to give you a quick highlight of what's happening. Uh, aside from that, just gems, there's not much that I can really talk about. Just some of the stuff I've heard about that's um, doing well and then looked into. Uh, Stormbrand, the new Stormbrand of Indecision is going pretty well. You can see it's an expensive gem. Uh, apparently it's very good overall and um, feels a bit more like Ark or something. I don't know, fuck. I haven't looked at it. I know, I'm, I'm told it's crazy and people are doing it. Um, ball lining is static, so static ball lining going with totems is going pretty well apparently. And that is a fun one to uh, play around with. Scourge Arrow of Menace, that's the one I am doing at the moment. Very powerful. Basically, instead of having instead of having a channel on the Scourge Arrow, it just insta-hits, and then you have to scale arrows. So, making a build around that. Um, Caustic Arrow of Poison, so with the uh, Poison base, Caustic Arrow, can overlap, does good damage. That exists, and I think that's about it. That's all I've really heard of or seen of, but um, I think there's a few I'm going to try out myself that are a bit under the radar as well at the moment, and I need to test, but... Still lots to see and do. Overall, um, some pretty cool items out there right now. Some A few under the radar, I think, but very build-defining, build-enabling stuff. And uh, Affliction League, I think, is going very well. I'm having a lot of fun. Hope you are too. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys next time.